Hi, sis. Good morning, family. Good morning. We are on lesson 224. We're reminded by Jesus that these practices are the attempt with a desire to go beyond the words into a felt state, into we speak briefly and then we wait on the experience of God coming to our awareness, to our mind. So I will read lesson 224. God is my father and he loves his son. My true identity is so secure, so lofty, sinless, glorious, and great, holy, beneficent, and free of guilt, that heaven looks to it to give it light. It lights the world as well. It is the gift my father gave me and the one I give the world as well. There is no gift but this that can be either given or received. This is reality and only this. This is illusion's end. It is the truth. My name, my father, still is known to you. I have forgotten it and do not know where I am going, who I am, or what it is I do. Remind me, father, now, for I am weary of the world I see. Reveal what you would have me see instead. God is my father, and he loves his son. Feels like the end of all false humility. Yeah, the end of arrogance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's. Um, I feel like unpacking this a little bit deeper. Uh, God is my father, and he loves his son. If we go back into the first paragraph. He says this, my true identity is so secure, so lofty, sinless, glorious and great, holy, beneficent and free from guilt, that heaven looks to it to give it light. It lights the world as well. Mm -hmm. He's speaking about our true identity here. Yeah. It, it's so beyond grand you know and it it is you know this this is the gift he says in this next line here 
It is the gift my father gave to me, my identity, the holy self I share with all my brothers. Mm -hmm. It is the gift my father gave to me, the one as well I give to the world. Mm -hmm. There is no gift but this, mm -hmm. my holy self, that can be either given or received. Right. You That's know how profound we're... that statement is. That that just went right through me. Yes. Uh, I was like, oh my God, you mean there's no other greater gift? There's no I other give. gift. There is no other gift. That's right. But it's just, it's profound. It really is absolutely profound. Are we willing to open to receive this? Because then he goes on to say this. This gift of my whole, as my holy self, my identity, this is reality and only this. This is illusion's end. It is the truth. Yeah. Wow. And that's wow, that, wow, wow. that's the one unified light. It's not like you've got a light, I've got a light. I mean, this light is our shared identity. This is the light that we've tried to hide behind the form of bodies but absent the bodies this light finds itself joins with itself effortlessly because it is one and so this is how we try to encapsulate cover deny and reject outright reject the glorious light that we are so you had the jesus drop something into your mind which was profound like a a prayer i in you you yeah. in me can you repeat it please? yeah that's it it's in one more line it's i when you're joining with the brother it's the i of your being i in you you in me and we in him and that is identifying recognizing accepting and allowing with gratitude, that light. That's what binds us, and that's the truth. That's the end of illusions. It is the truth. Mm -hmm. That's how we go beyond body identification. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's a little amazing heaven lights up because of this light it's the greatest gift we can give back to god letting it letting that be yeah experience so yeah accepting it yes right we can't really let it be until we recognize it and accept it mm -hmm. and the view of bodies denies that that's the well, lid it blocks it, right? yeah it's the lid on the on the light yeah. yeah we can't see it while we're believing or valuing bodies for anything good or bad that's right the gap thank you yeah thanks sis just feeling that's how we love God. And that's the only gift we can give and receive to our brothers. That's the only thing real that's ever going on. It's only when we're accepting and allowing the light that we are to be expressed and seeing the light and, and acknowledging its expression. That's the only time reality ever shows up. Nothing else is ever, ever going on. It, that is death. That's the darkness. Yeah, not to be a bummer, but really, those are the choices we've got to make. So practically speaking, every time I forgive, mm -hmm. in other words, I forgive a trigger, every time I forgive myself mm -hmm. for having used somebody mm -hmm. to trigger me, yeah, yes. Yes. Um, I'm choosing to see the Christ in them, the holy self, and myself. I'm choosing to close the gap, right? Yeah. Well, you said if I choose to see a trigger. So if you're if you're forgiving a trigger, you're wanting to close the gap. Is that what you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, you know, and it it comes it became very very simple recently just going there are God does not know of bodies. God knows of light. And so the idea of a body, as soon as you see the body, that's an illusion. Your judgments, your thoughts, the physical sense that sees it, anything past that point, nothing is going on. I mean, we can really just come down to, I'm going to forgive myself for seeing a brother as a body. My options are to see the body and go into the darkness or to want to join with the light beyond where our true identity is actually living. I want to live. I want to be that light and only... Uh, relate to the light in another and that's loving God we're saying yes to God right here in the dream we don't have to go down and I mean that's all undoing triggers all forgiveness is helpful but I mean eventually you come to a point where the body is the door it's that's the line you know state of the light as soon as we go to body and something else it's nothing's nothing is going on at all Yeah, so again, practically speaking, every time I am triggered, no matter by whom or by what, yeah. every time, like it could be other, per other people, it could be the body, mm -hmm. right? Right. Um, I need to go to that place where I'm willing to be wrong about that judgment, that belief. I want to be wrong. Yeah. I want to be wrong about this thing that I'm lending my belief to because I want the light instead. Yeah. Oh. And then the love can come in, the light. In other words, be revealed. Mm -hmm. Our true identity can be revealed within. Thank you. Yeah. Do you think I'm jumping too far down the road with that? Not at all. What do you mean? <laughs> no, I, I just don't think, think so. you know, it's like the workbook and unwinding the mind and working our triggers and forgiveness and um, questioning our illusions. All of that's great, but I'm just going, I wonder if there's a fast track to really encourage everybody to say, you could just stand at the door of your mind and realize if I'm having a thought past, you know, if I'm identifying with bodies, if I can just recognize that anything next, in addition to the body thought, I'm having a body thought and it's calling itself hatred. I'm having a body thought and I'm calling itself sickness. I'm body thought lack. It doesn't, you know, it's the first lie that the ego doesn't want you to actually ask, well, is that true? It's not true. It keeps, that's the cap and it keeps you from the light. Anything in addition to the body is just distraction. And we have done thousands and thousands of lifetimes trying to fix what wasn't there. We've lived in the realm of distractions, believing it was there, trying to fix it. He says, we don't ever see a brother if we see him as a body. We see our brother as sin if we identify him as a body. So that's really our only block. Mm -hmm. That's our only block. That's what I want you guys to get, if, if at all, if, it can, if the penny can drop, and I know that it will because it is here. That's the only block. We get that and it's game over. Yeah. And that doesn't mean we demonize the body because the body's entirely neutral, so neutral that it doesn't even exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But it becomes so, so helpful when you realize, you know, like you come to this place and you go, I'm not this body, but I just read this morning, which was beautiful in the miracle principles that the, it is the duty of the released, meaning I'm not this body, I am free, um, to release. It is the duty of those who are released to release their brothers. So that doesn't mean I'm released whoosh, to God. There is a duty that must be done first. The duty of the release to release their brothers, to go back in and release those that still believe that they are their bodies and their story. 
So that body, what a beautiful, you couldn't do that without the body, right? Brothers wouldn't understand you if you tried to show up as spirit or a ghost. <laughs> you need the body and it has a beautiful function. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Thank Thanks you. for being so yes. open. Yeah. Thanks for it. Just being here and doing this. <laughs> okay. Anything else, sis? No. Oh, well, I've got lots, but. Yeah. <laughs> We'll save it for later. Okay. So God is my father. God is your father. And he loves his son. Thank you. That means you. And you. And you. And you. <laughs>